Hello everyone, this is 20 Italians. Thank you for joining me on another uh, exciting playthrough of Crusader Kings 2. This is a new series that I'm doing using the Fantasy mod from Jason Doe. Jordan Doe's. I apologize, Jordan. Um, this came up, I saw it on Twitter first. I'm not sure where I saw it on Twitter. Uh, but then I saw it on the Paradox forums, this mod, and I was excited to play it, so I thought that um, it would make good for, um, be good material for a new series for my channel. Um, this mod, uh, developed by one person, Jordan Toes, is basically, it keeps the original Crusader Kings 2 map and interjects all sorts of fantasy elements into it. Here's the beginning. This is immediately after you pick a country. Uh, normally, you come into here, you, you pick your start date. I'm starting at 769, the earliest I can for you know a good long playthrough. Uh, but right away, we can um, really start to add in those fantasy elements. Elves, dwarves, dragons, goblins, orcs, uh, quests, um, and other side missions. I did a short playthrough by myself um, as a dwarf. Um, as one of the Dwarven race, and uh, that was quite exciting. So now I'm starting um, in Ireland. Uh, but first we need to choose the race that we want to be. Then we get to choose what other races are going to be on the map and basically go from there. Uh, there are, as you can see, there are YouTube videos um, by Jordan Doe's on YouTube. Um, which would make them YouTube videos uh, explaining more of the mod. Really, I'm just showing this uh, here for us to just jump right in and um, and and get playing with it. So first, we're going to choose a race. Um, there are eight different races, and here it shows the the bonuses and the unique learning that each of them have. So for an elf, uh, learning an archery bonus, a dwarf. Stewardship and Pikeman bonus. The Giant has Martial and Heavy Infantry, Goblin, Intrigue, and Light Infantry, Orc, Martial and Heavy Infantry, Troll, Combat Rating, and Heavy Infantry bonus. Human has an Average and Cavalry bonus. I don't know what the Average bonus would be. Uh, and then Draclon has Combat and Martial bonuses. The Goblins are also unique in that they have uh, the Horde that can be created. And the Horde is, they have the the numerical superiority on the battlefield, but yet uh, their their infantry is not very good. They they're just basically um, goblin fodder, is what they are. Um, my first playthrough I said um, on my own was as a dwarf. I got probably you know 30 years into it just to get a handle of it. I think this time I'm gonna go with um, the elves though, and so we are going to select the elf and now we get to choose high elf forest elf or dark elf i believe this is maybe this has something to tie into with the quest but more probably it's just cosmetically on the on the the profile on the picture of what um what can change here so i'm gonna go with uh ireland i don't know if there's any forest yes connacht which is where i am connacht connacta um, has forest, so we'll go with forest elf. You see, it changes the pro the the profile picture now. Um, you didn't make the elves have pointy ears. I think that might just be graphical limitation, but they all have blonde hair. That's how you differentiate the the elves from the human races. So now we can choose the unique class for the elven race. As you can read, uh, this feature replaces all vanilla educations. Each class has its own guild that is accessible in the decision menu. There you can take quests to increase your rank by class-specific weapons and armor, as well as take class-specific jobs for money. Uh, that's another thing that he added in, uh, was the ability uh, akin to uh, having Valerian weapons in the Game of Thro Thrones mod. Uh, here he allows you to equip weapons and armor that would help in personal combat. So the Elven classes are Politician, Warrior, Blacksmith, Rogue, and Mage. So the blacksmith, uh, you can see the parallels there as well. Blacksmith is to stewardship, uh, rogue is to intrigue, and mage is to learn. That's someone that doesn't, those are the three that don't really um, 
have a have an immediate analog. Um, because this is early, uh, I'm going to go with the warrior class. You see that I got rank one. And now we can come in and customize the map. I don't want to do a full map conversion. I don't really like all the races to be in there. I just think it gets too much. Um, but what happens here, um, and so I'm going to go with the custom map conversion, is now we get to choose which different species to put on. And uh, Jordan already has it that, that they'll be put on to um, preset countries. And so this... Um, all of these are alongside just the normal countries that are out there. Uh, Middle Francia, um, York, uh, Wessex, Essex. These are all still on there. They're just, maybe those, some of those have changed. Maybe they're just alongside now uh, a goblin horde or something of that nature. So it really adds a unique uh, RPG element to the game, that, to a game that was already very high in, in role playing. So we're going to allow the high elves, just the forest elves, I am one. Uh, let's not go with the dark elves. Dwarves, um, orcs, uh, no giant. We'll go with the stone giants. Go with the goblins, no trolls, and always have to have dragons. Now with the humans, um, you see right here, the Byzantine Empire can be directly um, changed to be the human imperial race. Uh, so we'll, we'll allow that to happen. So now I can convert your realm or revoke your vassals' titles there. So I'm going to convert all my current vassals, and I have none, so it doesn't really matter. But that that just converts um, those that are in my court to being elven as well, and I also convert my dynasty. So here we go. You can now start the game. Keep in mind that with the fantasy cultures and religions, that piety has been replaced with mana. This is used to smith, use class-specific decisions, and many other things. We get 100 mana to start to start off. And um, as always, if you like this, um, obviously follow mine. Uh, go on to YouTube, follow Jordan, and also go on to Steam and uh, rate up his, his mod. Um, he would greatly appreciate that. So everything else, a lot of the, a lot of the guts here are stay the same in, as vanilla uh, Crusader Kings 2. Um, where it all changes is in the intrigue, and you see right here off the bat all the different things that we can do. Um, one of the odd things is that uh, all the all the fantasy races they become tribal. Uh, I don't know. Well, I can see here with the elves that it does, with the dwarves it does. I assume with the orcs and the goblins. It does. I don't know what it does to the human elements, um, but it changes it from feudal to raising a tribal army. Um, you can see right here that we are we are tribal, um, and I don't know if the other ones we can see we can now click around to see where else are the um, where the other where the other fantasy races are. So here I'm I'm coming out pulling out. So you see right here, um, the forest elves have taken over um, most of the British islands and. Um, and it looks like all of Europe, basically. Um, but with that, you still see we still have the Pomeranians, the Polish, the Bohemians are here, Croatians, Bulgarians. Most of the Eastern um, cultures are still the same. You see, the dragons have a very large um, nest in in what was uh, northern India. I don't know what that is now that's just Asia um, but they're all alongside the looks like most of the Muslims have been changed over to orcs uh, and the goblins also are some of the uh, were some of the Muslims uh, but it looks like the goblins also took over Asturias which is now the kingdom of Zach then here's the human Imperials in the kingdom of uh, Seismus. Here are the dwarves. See, the dwarves are alongside the Finns um, and the Samis, Estonians. So this is where it really um, becomes unique. And here are mountain goblins here in, in the uh, the rest of the, the eastern races. 
So it's uh, this is where it really uh, lends to a lot of role playing. So enough about that. Change over to the realms. I'm still in Konakt. Um, the other elves have they changed the names? Elven, Elvhan uh, is the the high elf kingdom. See, all the elves have have blonde, blonde hair. I guess that was his way to differentiate it all. That's the only um, analog kingdom that changed that changed names. Everything else has stayed the same. Man, Ulster, Tyrone, Oriel. They they are high elf. All right, the whole British Isles has changed. There's not one left without it. I suppose if I wouldn't have chosen high elf, these would all just be normal human um, human races. Saxony is now ruled by forest elves. All right, so I don't know so much about the um, the intermarriage between the the different elves. What does it say, Elvish? Nothing. You didn't put anything in there. All right. Choose ambition. All the ambitions are the same. Oh, my name changed to Flaethry. I am a warrior. I'm going to choose the hunting so I get a boost to health. 40 wealth, 100 piety. That's so I can go on. Uh, the missions, which I didn't really get into, so I apologize. I, I skipped over that. This is going to be a bit longer of an episode so we can get started into it, so we can jump into it. Um, so here we have the Warrior Guild. We can create a royal bloodline uh, once we have a prestige of at least 4,000. Create the Forest Elf Duchy of Morel. Uh, I need three county titles, man of at least 100, and a prestige of 250. And then there's also the market. So let's go into the guild first. Welcome to the Warrior's Guild. I'll go to Quest and Jobs. Uh, let's start a quest. Defend your market. As an aspiring warrior, you have taken it upon yourself to walk around your market daily to see if you can catch any thieves. But find one and beat them in a duel. They, that should increase my warrior rank. Let's do this. Um, the quests move on after I am paused it. It moves along with the game. So I am un unmarried and my heir is unmarried. I don't have an heir. I do have an heir. It's my cousin. Uh, I still, I'm still of the uh, play three of Uberoyan. So it didn't change my dynasty name away from the, uh, the O'Briens. This is... Ooh. Rank four politician. She is a forest elf. So because it hasn't... Well, this is just within my realm. Uh, well she's the only one. I know I'm going to take a hit to prestige. But I have to. She's the only one that's there. And I'm 55. Need to get that prestige back up. And my heir needs a wife. Oh, of course he gets the princess of Lombardy. Doesn't that just fit so well? That's really annoying. Uh, the religions have also changed, so we'll go into that. Uh, she's a rank one mage. Th she's the only one that's available. I have to go with it. Of course he has a higher bump. Well, I'm sure I'm going to die soon. Uh, council. Very good council ratings. All right, so I can get zealots out of that. That won't really help. Well, what's the religion there already? That's so well, already a religion of the sun. All right, so this is part of the Elvish religions, uh, the sun faith. Elves who worship the sun, clearly. Uh, let's go to the other religions. Sun. Oh, sorry. I get rid of that. Ooh, Isildore. Oh, wait, that's the kingdom. Hey, I wanted the sun. All right, sun. They worship the goblins. Worship Nack. Orcs worship darkness. Makes sense. Uh, the humans worship the divine imperial, and Orthodox Christianity is still there. Uh, Tengri faiths. Goblins worship Nack. The dwarfs worship uh, or have the the Dane religion. And the dragons obviously just worship themselves. Oh, here's more dragons. Stoneborn? Who are these?
Oh, these are the giants that are down here in India. Character is a giant! Basically, they're very good warriors and nothing good at nothing else. Now, I think if I remember that the elves are maybe immortal, but that may... Well, I'll well, we'll just see what happens. Isildore. And West Francia is all elves. Forest elves. Oh, poor... Oh, they're all elves, too. Alrighty. Oh, um, uh, all right, so we'll go advance. Yes, I have. Maybe I pick a new ambition. Have a son. Kingdom of Italy, the ancient Lombard kingdom. Well, that doesn't really bother me. Because I believe Italy's run by elves. Yes, forest elves. Ah. Uh, Alright, so my current heir, my cousin, is now married to the Princess of Lombardy. So, I guess I should go to the market to get... Uh, ooh, Manichaean Faith Triumphs. That's a nice little cross-reference over there. That happened a lot quicker in this one than it did in my other playthrough. Uh, mostly because <laughs> I believe that uh, some of the Zoroastrianisms, uh, Zoroastrian faith were uh, changed to other religions. Alright, so I'm in the market now. Uh, I don't believe I actually have enough money to buy anything. So items will not show up unless you have enough money to buy it. You yeah, not enough money to buy anything. There's also potions. So I guess I just have to wait for... My quest. Ah, here we go. I caught a robber. You see a man steals some rubies from the jewel merchant and you grab his hand. You have caught him in the act. He slips out of your grasp and draws his bronze sword against you. It's time to fight. You won! The fight begins and you spin him around and disarm him. This was easy. You feel your confidence in warrior rank increasing. His bronze sword looks very nice. Cruel or just? Let's roleplay him. Is he cruel or just? Oh, he's chased? What the hell? Are you kidding me? Ambitious, honest, and proud. Nothing there tells me if he's going to be just or cruel. No, he's an honest, ambitious man. I'll drag him to jail. I can grant my weapon. Uh, I don't really want to grant my weapon right now. But I do want to marry this guy. Off. And there's no one to marry. I need to bring women <laughs> into the realm. Stop. Um, this is known as the Great Elvish Female Migration of 769. Okay. Council. Um, he was a commander of mine. There he is. Ooh, I need a cup here. Well, sure. Well, he's the heir. He gets to be the regent. Alright. Fothad Urbrian. Oh, yeah, they're much better than my wife. <laughs> Ooh, a rogue of rig four T rig four. The robber's now my rival? That makes no sense whatsoever. Well he's an imbecile, or he's slow. Oh, I have one vessel. 
He's a bishop baron. Kuken Mathair. So with that, I just married off. Cola's married. Fagarth. Fag. Fagarth Duck. Mergal. Uh. Yeah, he's. Deprete. I guess it doesn't really matter. Hope these girls have no qualms about marrying a seventy two. Marrying older men. Well he's not older man. Alright, then we have some left over. Um, I wonder what job I can do. So enter the guild. Get a job. You can take a job as a warrior for gold. Well, I defend a trade route. As a warrior in training, you have taken upon yourself to defend a trade route to see if you can catch any highway robbers. Find one and beat them in a duel. That should bring in a nice reward. I do need money. Let's do this. No, oh, I need my other. Um, actually, I want to fabricate claims. Let's do a little look, looky loo here. 256. It would be nice to know how much I have in military. I can, I can raise a tribal army. Prestige release 500. Um, I'm gonna come 2,500. So Killed there. 11.8, 11.8, 11.5. Looking at the l t tax here. Um, economic advance 6, 6. Everyone's the same. No, I don't want to do that. How about Breffin? Breffin has no allies. Well then. Troops. I'll have a build legend. Prove religion or build zeal? I have a 14 sense of, of zealots and I don't know when I'm going to get that. I also don't know when I'm going to get the other one. Well, we'll do that. Laws. Everything's fine there. Technology. What is it? Oh, same as everyone. Alright. You found a highway robber. You see a man robbing a camp. He's stealing some food and water for his journey. No one steals from your subjects like this. Time to use your warrior skills and defend your honor. You challenge him to a duel. You draw your sword against him and he accepts. A courtier named Enlith appears. And you won. He strikes left. You defend left. This was hard, but you disarm him and send him to his knees. You feel your confidence and warrior-ness increasing. Should bring a nice reward. 200 gold. Ooh, that's prestige plus one. I get the 25 chance. Brave, cool. Uh, for a year, plus one prestige. Uh, yeah, I'll finish it. Your rival Andith has died. By the laws of the hands, you receive all of his weapons and armor. Alright. I don't believe I have. T yeah, I have two. So now I can grant. 
grant my weapon. But I don't want to grant all of my weapons to him. Oh, that's annoying. Yes, yeah, that's what I was thinking was going to happen. Um, I'll sell the bronze sword. You can't only keep one weapon. So now I have iron sword and iron armor, which increases my personal combat skill tremendously. This chastity... Ah, the peasants told the whole Costco about a dragon, quote-unquote, they saw in the forest, and now the eager young men keep nagging about me about a true dragon hunt. A oh, dragon hasn't been seen in these parts for a hundred years. Uh, uh, kill it and hang it over the hearth. Fearsome dragon thou doth not scare me. I am their warrior king, after all. Or warrior duke, chief, you know what it is. Um, I will just let this go. Kick it up a notch. I have money now, that's good. Let's see if I need to update. Uh, ooh, Elven Tree Fort. Yes, please. Why do you cost so much? I need as much men as I can. He's building my legend. Nope, can't steal any technology yet. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are just... We're just waiting now. I could go on another quest, I suppose. I can only get a job. Well, I guess I'll get a job. Oh, no jobs to take. I gotta wait. Alright, so I can't even do that. I must wait. <laughs> no factions. Here, I'm just checking to see if anyone's at war. I believe I can do great things, so therefore I have put my mind to actually implement my ideas. Pride is not a sin. I'm already proud. Why would I lose 0.5 health? I lose 10 minutes. Yeah, it's just a way to reduce mana. Didn't I say I wanted to have a son? I want to have a son. Is she not happy with me? Why is she not happy? Hey, be happier. Sleep with me. Have my child. Aid <coughs> Ubroyan. Ooh, I have a mage in my ranks now. Character's a mage, gets plus two mana, plus one to diplomacy, plus six. Good thing I have a bunch of uh, willing women for him. Alright, I want to educate this one myself. have any money? No, oh, but he's gaining mana. What if I execute him? My leech, since I've ever been in Connacht, there's never been a... No, oh, good. Execute. Cost me 20 mana. Well, I'm not using it anyways. I'll execute him. Daughter was born. To Tamout O'Brien and Cade T. Tutown, T. Town, named Elias. 
Okay, well then I know that the elves can have children then. So now I'm just waiting. With this, I can have nine domain size. 623 army members. Uh, why did you let it off that peasant accused of poaching? You need the deer more than me. Good. He's just, just like I am just. A group of robbers calling themselves the Bando Brothers have been brought before me. The long list of all their crimes does not put them in a good light. They will pay immersement. Apparently this is a perfect punishment. Now oh good. The tree fort's been built. Aid. It's worth it. I need the money. Will you... Oh, hope enough money for that. Can I still borrow from the Jews? No, I can't. Dang it! So we can take a job though. Get money. Defend the trade route. I need the money. I'm only at 41. I need the money to pay for the. Uh, whenever I fabricate the claim, I'm riffing. Found a highway robber. I lost. No. He disarms you and sends you to your knees. What happens? Lo monthly prestige and I lose 50 prestige. Sad. Sad news for a war rank two warrior. Okay. Well, I believe I can do a quest because it was can't do a quest. Can I do a job? I can't do a job anymore. I could have done a quest, but now I cannot. That was awesome. Now the dwarves have a really easy chance to gain money since they can um, dig in the mines and whatever they uh, whatever they find, iron, uh, which can be re refined into steel, silver, gold, or mithril, um, can then be sold uh, on the market for a lot of money. So it's easy for them to get money. Um, elves, not so much. Maybe I just haven't found out the way. Elf King Sionid of Elvenham. Uh, our mate O'Brien, he's a crappy politician. Maybe better if he's a mage, look at that learning. Uh, I guess I'll have a great idea, but no one, but no money to make my dream real. One of the traveling merchants who regularly visits Konak has shown interest in my idea, but always changes his mind whenever I ask him to invest in it. But it's a great idea. Ulukba? Merchant had apparently changed his mind and promised to finance my idea, so I could begin working on it. I'm feeling Olakbar had something to do with the merchant's change of mind, but I could care less. Oh, awesome. 1.6 gold. I really don't want to get this guy married. Look at him. He looks like a moron. What elf is pudgy? Damn you and your pudginess, you elf. I have no use for you anywhere. Oh, Gerhard? Hello, Gerhard. I'll marry you off, you look strong and no. Nope. Well, this can go up any time at once. Oh, five, it's trying to bring up to 500. Three hundred fifty-five. I have 794. I need you to fabricate a claim now. I don't know a valid Cassius Belli. 
Oh, that's right. I can take concubines. Who had a kid? Sinead O'Brien and Cavrala T. Town. Named Thurdan. There's the market village. The White Stag. Lately you have heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers in the wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It's a white stag, both powerful and elusive. Comerfo claims it comes from another world, and that the hunter who claims it will be imbued with divine power. But I must send people out to find it. Good. And I need to conserve money. Before it's locked down, your occupation of enemy nomad promises to get the crushing intrusion penalty suffered in some pagan homelands. Uh, I don't really need it in my realm. Alright, everyone. Well, this is be a good stopping point for our first episode of the fantasy mod as the... Uh, Chief Flayer 3 of Konact. Um, this is going to be a, a fun little series to play, so I hope that you follow along. And uh, as always, feel free to leave comments, either good or bad, and uh, tell your friends about it. This is a good way to look into uh, Jordan, uh, Jordan's mod that he created and uh, put a lot of work into. So, uh, so until next time, uh, feel free to uh, tell your friends, and good night, and good luck.